Linda Darnell. Linda Darnell was born on October 16, 1923, in Dallas, Texas, as Minetta Eloise Darnell. She began her career as a model at the age of 11 and entered the entertainment industry through beauty contests. Linda's mother, Pearl, played a significant role in pushing her towards an acting career, believing Linda had the potential to become a movie star. Darnell made her film debut in 1939 with Hotel for Women at the age of 15. Initially signed to RKO Pictures, she later joined 20th Century Fox, where she found success in various films. Linda Darnell was often cast alongside actor Tyrone Power, with whom she formed a highly publicized on-screen couple. She gained critical acclaim for her roles in Unfaithfully Yours, 1948, and A Letter to Three Wives, 1949. Darnell's career faced setbacks in the early 1940s, with the studio struggling to find suitable roles for her. Despite initial challenges, she experienced renewed success with her starring role in Forever Amber, 1947, a highly anticipated and expensive film. Linda Darnell's performance in Forever Amber did not receive the expected acclaim, and the film's success was moderate. Her breakthrough came with A Letter to Three Wives, 1949, earning her widespread acclaim and making her one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood. Darnell missed out on a leading role in Pinky, 1949, due to concerns that audiences would compare it to her character in Forever Amber. She was widely expected to receive an Academy Award nomination for her role in A Letter to Three Wives, but was ultimately not nominated. Linda Darnell's career started to decline after the high point of A Letter to Three Wives. She struggled with alcoholism and weight gain, further impacting her career. Darnell's later films were less noteworthy, and her appearances became increasingly sporadic. In 1951, she signed a new contract with 20th Century Fox that allowed her to become a freelance actress. Linda Darnell's first film outside 20th Century Fox was The Lady Pays Off, 1951, for Universal International. She fell ill during the filming of Saturday Island, 1952, which was shot on location in Jamaica. Darnell's later films included Blackbeard the Pirate, 1952, and Second Chance, 1953, filmed in Mexico. She expressed a sense of disappointment that her career did not last as long as she had hoped. Linda Darnell passed away on April 10, 1965, at the age of 41. Her legacy includes contributions to classic Hollywood films, and her work is remembered by fans and film historians.